Hello, my name is James Kelly. I'm the creator of the Miracle Choice Game. Sometimes in workshops and leading or trainings, people say to me, I want to help other people. And sometimes I'm really curious when they say that. I'm wondering they, their need to help other people. What is that exactly? Is that a need to feel better in themselves because they see themselves as a helper and other people needing their help? Or are they uncomfortable sometimes with the feelings that come up when they're with somebody who is suffering and they want those feelings to go away? So I'm always curious as to why people want to help other people. And of course, I think it's a natural thing. And there is a line in The Course in Miracles that goes a little bit like, do not trust your good intentions. They're not good enough. And that's kind of like saying, well, you know, who I am as a person with all my training, if I'm a therapist or a coach, or just all the things I've learned about helping other people, if I have them all there as like this package and I'm trying to help somebody over there who's separate from me, that whole setup, you could say, is well-intentioned. But are we really going to trust that that is the help we want? To provide for other people and of course people come and play the miracle choice board game and learn how to facilitate it for other people and so part of my job as a trainer is to make sure that people aren't helping in the usual way in fact when we have a group of players playing one of the rules for those players is that they're not allowed to help other people the other players. They're not allowed to give advice to solve problems. The facilitator is trained to stop or interrupt when that's happening. Because what's happening in the game and why the game was really designed is to allow love to help other people. And so what I mean by that, it's almost like we have to get out of the way as a personal self sitting with players in front of us to be really helpful. Because love helps in a way that we don't really know what's going to happen in advance. It's always a surprise for me what love wants to say when I'm in the role of a facilitator or even as a player. I don't really know what love's going to come up with next. I need to be almost empty within myself to know what's the best thing to say. And I cannot do that if I'm carrying all my baggage as a person, that I'm carrying all my tools and things that I've learned in the past and I'm going to apply them now in this new situation with this board game or with this pocket game in front of players. I need to really forget all that. And one of the ways we help the facilitator and players to forget all that is the start of the game meditation, which goes a bit like this. I choose to take the hand of my inner guide and join with love. And with the help of my inner guide, I'm ready to look beyond any non-loving thoughts and experience the truth about myself. So we're asking love's help to experience the truth about ourselves. And I think that's just beautiful because we don't really know what love is gonna come up with. And as they kind of edge with the game or kind of stepping into the unknown, which is so attractive for players and for facilitators. So I invite you, if you're interested in that, to find out more about the Miracle Choice training for facilitators. And I'm really, I guess I'm really proud of that in a way. I'm proud of the game because I think everything in the game, and this is a big thing to say, and everything in the training is really designed to allow you to access the way that love helps. And to do that, you really need to get yourself out of the way and be almost like in an empty space for love to happen in, both for yourself and for the player. So please, if you are interested, have a look at the website, which is miraclechoicegame.com. Thank you. I'm James Kelly, the creator of the Miracle Choice Games.